Well, in the past I've published a flight simulator video every uh, few months to help people uh, configure their systems on Windows uh, 8, now Windows 10. But there's been a lot of discussion on how well it runs on the two systems in comparison. So what I've done is that I have two separate installations, or two actually the same installations, on the same exact hardware. One running under Windows 7 Ultimate, and one under Windows 10 Pro. And during this demo, you should be aware that the frame rate of inside of a flight simulator is reduced by about 5 FPS from its actual without the video capture software running that's capturing this uh, for this demo. So there's no lags, no jumps, no staggers. It all runs smoothly. So first I went into, here's the Windows uh, 7. As you can see, the start menu on the, on the left. So we're going to go ahead and configure it to run at certain specifications. So, if I go in here and I click on Settings, the first thing I'm going to check is I'm going to go over here and make sure that there's my video card, of course, and my frame rate I've set for 63, and I run at 1920 by 1080 by 32. All my aircraft, scenery, uh, weather, everything's on ultra high, even though this is an older uh, video card and system. Uh, I keep on that. I also turn on DirectX 10. So we're going to go ahead and run our first uh, demo of how it works under Windows 7 with uh, these settings. So here we are with the extra 300. And you'll notice in the top left corner I've turned on uh, Flight Simulator's own frame rate counter. And you can get to do that by doing uh, Shift Z twice. And you'll notice as I zoom in the counter changes, it's actually better at drawing. And that's because it has less objects. It doesn't have to do all those trees or clouds or all that stuff. And you, when you zoom out, there's more things for it to do or in the middle of zooming out, your frame rate may drop because your processor and video card get a little overwhelmed. Uh, it depends upon how new your system is. Again, this is a pretty old system, so it slows down quite a bit, but most of it's perfectly acceptable. Remember, uh, this is Windows 7, and the frame rate looks like it's in the low 20s as a steady uh, at these settings. So uh, I'm going to fly around a little bit more here, and you'll notice that DirectX 10 effects on the water and everything. You'll see that the complexity uh, changes a little bit, but again, mid to low 20s. So I'm going to switch over here to a larger aircraft, uh, a little more complex underneath maybe. Uh, but we're going to see what it does as far as the uh, frame rate, and you'll see it's uh, mid 20s again. So we're going to uh, change the view a little bit. Uh, let me put away the uh, landing gear here. And watch that happen. The frame rate seems to be steady at the mid uh, or higher 25. And once that's done, we're going to go back out a little bit and go to the back of the aircraft again. And again, mid to high uh, 20s. And the reason it may work better with this larger aircraft is actually there's more external shapes on the uh, changes in shape on the 300 than this large 747. Uh, but not, be that as may, it's, it's running perfectly fine. Again, we're going to go ahead and make a bank here and try to get some look at some other effects. And you'll notice that we're mainly in the higher 20s during, uh, uh, during this. Now I'm uh, I moved over here to where we get over more land and again that causes the frame rate to drop a little bit. So you can see how well it performs under Windows 7. So with that, we're going to go ahead and get out of this, and we're going to go over to Windows 10. Okay, in Windows 10, we're going to use the same exact settings. Here we are with, uh, as you can see, it's Windows 10 with the Start menu. We're going to use the same exact settings that we used in Windows 7. So we're going to go to the FXX control panel. We click on Settings. I'm going to go over here and uh, click Customize and choose, the, the, of course, the right graphics card. I'm going to set the settings for 63 for the frame rate and the same uh, screen resolution. Now, all the other settings, by the way, are exactly the same as well. We're going to check these. They're all set to ultra high, so we're ready to go in that respect. And we click on uh, the DirectX. And it tells us we have to do a restart. So we're back in and we're going to go and check, uh, actually choose our aircraft. Back to the extra 300. 
and uh, we're ready to go uh, fly a little bit. So here we are flying the X-300 in Windows 10 and you look at the frame rates in the top left again. Almost exactly the same they were in Windows 7. Now you remember, after I loaded up the generic uh, Windows 10 drivers and everything, I loaded up my NVIDIA graphics drivers that were specifically built for Windows 10. Depending upon your system, they may or may not release drivers that were built. And it's very important that you make sure that your drivers, that after you reinstall or upgrade to Windows 10, that you install the necessary drivers for your system. This includes not just the video drivers, but other drivers as well for your hard drive uh, controller, for your LAN, for everything. Uh, again, I'm zooming in there, you saw how well it shot up, though, actually in the 40s when it had to draw uh, less detail. Uh, oh, by the way, here's a great shot of the uh, sun and the effects there in Windows 10. Everything's running quite nicely, quite smoothly. So we'll switch over to the uh, 747 here. And again, as we zoom in, looks really nice. We'll do the same kind of thing we did before. Go ahead and put the landing gear away. Frame rates upper. 20s, exactly the area it was under Windows 7. So, what does this mean? Well, it means that if it was a proper drivers installed, Windows 10 will run FSX as good as Windows 7, at least in my case. So what does this comparison prove? Well, the comparison doesn't prove that it will run on your particular hardware, because again, it depends upon if you have newer hardware and things like that. This is fairly old, so it's probably more compatible with a flight simulator but it does prove that on the same system and the same parameters being used that they're both handling it and with the proper drivers uh, they're both handling it just about exactly the same there's another great shot of these effects being rendered uh, under Windows 10 and we're in the 30s now so uh, there you have it that's my comparison between Windows 7 flight simulator and Windows 10 flight simulator as far as my installation goes, uh, it runs fine. Uh, hope this helps you make a decision on whether or not you're going to go upgrade to Windows 10. Hey, and don't forget to subscribe to Old Guy Geek. Come on back for Windows 8 and Windows 10, and Windows Phone 8 and Windows 10, and general how-to videos, all here to help you make the most out of your system.